Welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Capricorn from December 9th to December uh, 15th, 2019. Please like and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. Hit the little thumbs up or the bell icon. Also, the masculine and feminine energy can be vice versa. Um, if it doesn't apply to you, do not force it to fit because some days it will apply and some days it won't. And I can only read the cards. You have to figure out who they apply to in your life or where they apply. That's what I'm saying. If they don't fit anyone, they, then that doesn't apply to you. Also, um, I told you how to view uh, your birth chart. You need your time you were born, the date you were born, and the place you were born. And you can enter that in your search engine. You don't have to enter your email, and you do not have to pay any money. And once you learn that, you can come back and view your, most people view their sun rising, their Venus rising, which is your love uh, sign, and then your moon rising, which is pretty much your emotions. So, please do that. I'm using a couple of the Mystical Cats tarot cards, and then I'm going to use the uh, Wisdom Chakra cards, which I really, really like. So, let me get started here for your reading. Capricorn, hope you all are doing well. Masculine feminine energies can be vice versa as well. So let's go. Just going to lay these out and see what comes up. So the first card we have for you is Cat Magic. Very good. Capricorn, this is the divine looking out for you. This is like you have the magic to change your whole life right now. Now is a good time. If you want to make any changes to your life, the universe is supporting you and... That's what that's that's good for. So Earth Tom, this is a helper, a helper something or some person coming into you to help you is what that means. Ace of Sky, this is a warning. This is a warning um, to stop something in your life. Some negative behavior, a negative person, it usually yeah, something. Something in your life is um yeah, it says to stop, basically. So, protection. So, for, so something is... Oh, look at this. So this is Seven of Sky. This is somebody doing something behind your back, Capricorn, and you don't see. Um, you can see the kitty's turned away looking at the birds, and the other kitty has taken the mouse. So that's what that means. Somebody is being mischievous around you and taking something from you. So this is consequences. So um, I feel like this has to do with something around you. Consequences to something. I'm not sure what it is. Um, let's see what the next card is. Balance and strength. Very good. So you have the balance and strength to deal with um, somebody who's taking something from you. And look at this, to a C. This is love. So I don't know if it is a love that's taking things from you, Capricorn. It's almost what I'm feeling. For a fire. This is marriage. So I do feel like um, maybe some of you are possibly getting a divorce and your partner is taking their possessions, money from you. You could be paying fees. I'm not really sure. And this is Seven of Fire. This is something right in front of you that you're not even noticing. So, wow. I'll put one more. And this is Six of C. This is my crying card. This is somebody crying a lot. I mean, that's not just a couple of tears. That's a lot. So, Three of Sky is a third party in your love life, usually, or lower vibrations around you. It could be either or. You need to figure out which one of those would apply to you. And this is Sky Queen. This is somebody watching you, observing you, and the Sky Queen will cut out what doesn't, um, which causes a roadblock in her life. She will cut it out super fast. She has no time for that. So I'm going to pull the, uh, the Chakra Wisdom cards now. So we'll push these over here and see what comes up in those. I just love these cards. I love all my cards. So, Three of Wands. Three of Wands is 
a journey and a vision. So you see something in your future that is looking quite bright to you. So it looks to me like some of you are looking into your future. Maybe when you cut something out, you're moving. So this is Four of Coins. This is an obstruction or a block uh, with your heart. So I don't mean medical obstruction and blockage. I know I said that on a card before in a reading and I was worried people thought that's what I meant. That's not what I mean. I mean it's an obstruction, something with your love. Something to do with your love. Somebody is either stopping your love or you're not giving your love freely. Something like that. The devil. This is you, Capricorn. This is your card. Or it could mean a warning that there's lower energies around you, jealousy, or this is you, Capricorn. So five of coins. Um, this is a hardship. You're going to have a hardship over something. I'm not sure what it is yet. Queen of Coins, nice. Queen of Coins is reliability and somebody who's like a homemaker role. So this is uh, somebody who takes care of the chores and the house and the pets and the kids going to the doctor and everything like that. So maybe there is a um, hardship with your with your person who takes care of the house is what I'm feeling like. So Queen of Wands, this would be self-worth. So Queen of Wands. So I don't know for these two to come up and they're both uh, intuition. The Queen of Coins and the Queen of Wands. So this is reliability and a hang uh, homemaker but self-worth. So I don't know if you're going to make her feel her self-worth, Capricorn, by giving her a beautiful home and letting her take care of it and maybe not have to work anymore. Maybe that's what's coming out. That's maybe what I'm picking up. Four of Wands. This is a marriage card. So you've had two marriage cards in this reading, Capricorn, so that's pretty predominant. Um, something's going on with a lot of your Capricorn's marriage. And this can just apply, this is a general reading, it can't apply to every Capricorn. But a lot of you are probably having similar experiences, that's why it's a general reading. So yeah, this is an awakening of some sort. Nine of Wands. This is stamina, um, recovery. So I feel like whatever's going on here, the negativity, you're going to recover from it. You have the stamina to do that. Nine of Cups. So you have Nine of Wands and Nine of Cups. This is luxury. So you have the stamina, you have the luxury, it appears, or you're giving the luxury to somebody else, is what I feel. Two of Cups. Very nice. Two of Cups, this is somebody who adores you and they would be loyal to you is what that says. So, wow, very good. So let's see. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is a proposal. You've had three marriage cards in here. This is amazing. Or this could be a new opportunity. Ace of Swords. This is a protection card. You see she has the sword in her hands. This is somebody cutting out something that does not make them feel protected in their life right now, is what that represents. Three Cups, this is harmony. This is a happy home, happy love life, harmony. Two people with a family getting along peacefully is what that is. Ace of Cups, beautiful. This is opportunity, Capricorn. This is an opportunity for new love, possibly. The Hanged Woman. This tells me there's going to be a delay. And when there's a delay and this card comes up, it's pretty much telling me that the Divine is going to hold back on this till the time is right. So you have something you need to work through or deal with before you can move forward to this other person. High Priestess. Very, very good. Major Arcana. This is Wisdom and Gut Instinct. Two of Swords. 
this is you denial um, self protect fear so you're feeling like something is blocking you to where you're holding back your gut instinct is if your gut instinct kicks in and you feel reservations I feel like you should listen to them between these two cards Queen of Swords this is integrity and again um, you see the sword so I feel like she's going to cut out what doesn't make her feel it doesn't apply to her integrity she's not going to deal with it she's going to cut it out and with the dogs here I feel like it's the divine and this is the um, third eye intuition chakra card so yeah six of coins this is nice this is karma so I feel like whatever good coins you put out there in the universe Capricorn it's going to come back to you people are just have their hand out the universe is saying it's time this is the Hermit Capricorn. This could be a Virgo if you have a Virgo around you. Or it could be you finding an answer to something. Clarity. If it's not a Virgo around you, you're going to find clarity to an answer. Temperance. This is, uh, again, Major Arcana. And this is um, Destiny guiding you. Others, replenish. And you see she's got the wings. So I feel like, excuse me, I feel like you're being guided, basically. Guiding you to where you're going right now. Wow, and that's what that says. This is opportunity, success. Very, very nice. Love offered. Somebody is going to offer you love, Capricorn, or you're going to offer it to somebody else. And this is, again, is intuition. This is healing. So everybody's going to heal from the situation. I feel like when the love is offered, this is the death card. So this is an ending to something and the beginning of something else. When one door closes, another one opens. I feel like you're moving into a higher self and a completion of something and you're moving into something new. Seven of Wands. So Seven of Wands means gossip, and for you to have faith when that gossip comes out, that it's not going to affect you. The Tower, Major Arcana. The Tower is problems, destruct destruction, emerging truths, and a deception, a warning of deception. So it could be usually... Uh, yeah, something happens so that truths can be exposed. It's going to come out is what I feel. The Emperor, very nice, Major Arcana. This is ambish, ambitious leader. This is somebody who knows where he wants to go in life. He's got all his coins in a row. He knows who to keep around him to keep his life positive. He just is like, um, yeah, wise, stable, honest, Eight of Cups. This is splendor, expansion. Oh, Nine of Swords. This is grief over something. I feel like it's over some action. Um, defeat. You feel defeated about something and it breaks your heart. It makes you sad. You feel sad about it. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands would represent entrepreneur. Or it could be a message coming in, a proposal, I feel. You've had a lot of proposal card, a lot of marriage in this reading, Capricorn. What is going on? Ten of Swords. This is exhaustion, overkill. I don't know if you're overthinking something is what this is telling me. You're overthinking it way too much that you have ran it in the ground. The Wheel of Fortune. Very good, Major Arcana. This is... Compassion, surprises, and destiny. Your whole life can change. Totally. So let me pull um, the Fantasy Cats Oracle. So I hope that helps a lot of you. First Fantasy Cat Oracle card I have for you is feeling. So a lot of you are feeling a lot of stuff, I feel like, with all these stuff going on. I, 
it seems like some of you are getting ready to end a marriage and maybe move into another love and ask somebody else to marry you is kind of what I'm getting. I'll read that in a minute. The next one I have for you, the Fantasy Cats Oracle, is desiring intimacy. So yeah, you want to be close to somebody. You want somebody to call your own and you want to be close to that person. So then let me pull um, one more and then I'll look in the book. The last third one I have for you is winter, the delicate feeling of night. Beautiful. So, okay, let me uh, read out of the book here and see what these say. So that was Fantasy Cats Oracle. So we have feelings. It was the first one. I think that was four. No, it wasn't four. Which is feeling? Feeling is two. Oh, wow. I like the number two. It's a good number. I like all numbers, though, it seems like. <laughs> so for the book, number two, it says feeling. Open the heart. Embrace vulnerability. Open yourself to every feeling associated with your situation. Embrace the entire emotional spectrum. The light, the dark, and every shade in between. Emotions can't hurt you. Even the scariest and saddest. The darkness defines the light. Excuse me, Capricorn. Um, the darkness defined. Darkness encourages the light shine brighter to shine brighter. Embrace dark and light with equal openness. Resistance breeds confusion. Repression is blockage. Journal for clarity. Emotions are a way of gauging life's rhythms and results. Feel emotions without reacting out of them. Those who respond out of emotion are not acting in authenticity. Do not linger in extreme emotional spaces. Our feline friends prefer relaxed states of being and are happy to model this for us. Follow their lead. So then I have intimacy, which speaks for itself. You, you desire to have somebody close to you and be intimate with somebody. And then I'll read winter. And where is that? Let me see. Give me a minute. Cuddling. Oh, there's winter. Okay, so for winter it says... Take action at nighttime and the world as the world sleeps. So chilled crystal landscapes bring peace and calm. White nights purify the scene and the soul. No effort is required. There is no place to go, nothing to do. Glory rests at your fingertips. The slate is wiped clean and reset buttons are pressed. The gifts you receive are matched by what is offered in the waking state. Starlight Starlight infuses all situations with del delicate power. Night protects and seals your deepest desires. Wow. So nighttime, you guys are wanting somebody there at night by you all the time, is what I'm picking up. You do not want to be by yourself at nighttime. Oh, whoa. And boy, those cards just shot out. And there's two, so I guess I'll take two of them. I was only going to take one, but the way they came flying out, I'll take both of them. Oh, wow, there's three. I don't know if I can take three. Oh. So the first one is night. Be brave and honest. Very good. Second one is trade or exchange energy to create abundance. And the third one is star ancestor. Follow the voice of your soul. So let me read out of those. The night. second here. Oh, there he is. So, night. It says, do the right thing even if it isn't the easiest option. Stand for what you know to be right and true. The energy of respect is important right now. You are being encouraged to figure out what is important to you and what you stand for. If you are in a space where there's a opposition, you are being guided to follow through with integrity because even if it seems this will slow your progress. Your rewards will be much more abundant. You are being surrounded by a light of bravery to help you. And then I'm moving on to Trader. And he says, exchange energy and create abundance. Make connections and exchange information 
talents, or support. The universe operates under the law of cause and effect and is always looking for a return to a natural state of balance. So if you are lacking in the feelings of abundance at this time, you are being invited to share your time, your gifts, and your understanding with others. And then the last one we have is Star Ancestor, and that's one of my favorite cards. I like it, because I already know what it means, but I will read it for you. Um, so let's see in here. Let me see. Hmm, takes me a minute. Sorry, just sex. Star Ancestor. Where are you, Star Ancestor? I can't find you. Oh, my... Oh, here he is. Follow the voice of your soul. Heed the messages coming directly from your soul. There is a deeper purpose to your human journey. Not only were you born on purpose, you were born for a purpose. You were born to be a bright light in the world where there are supporters out there in the universe sending waves of energy to guide you at this time. Information and inspiration that has been coming your way recently is not new information, but memories. Your feelings are being drawn in a particular direction are an awakening of an aspect of your soul. You are being drawn towards a road that will not only light you up, but also help you light up your corner of the world. Continue following the cosmic guidance that is coming your way. Very nice. Beautiful. So these are your angel and ancestor oracle cards. and I usually don't pull three, but they all shot out, so I'm going to show them to you. I went ahead and felt like they wanted you to have these very nice so that was everything wow that was fast I thought I had one more card to pull alright so thank you Capricorns and Crosswatchers for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot thank you